There's Something in the Barn is a movie that I expected to dislike when I watched the first 20 minutes of it. I sighed and hung my head and went, oh dear, what is this movie going to be? But I'm here to talk about There's Something in the Barn and whether it's actually worth your while. Let's jump in. An American family fulfills their dream of moving back after inheriting a remote cabin in the mountains of Norway. So there's a number of things that work in this movie. I'm just going to talk about what doesn't and then we'll get into the positives and leave you feeling maybe a bit hopeful about the movie that's kind of how i like to do it if i can the negatives out the way the first half an hour maybe 35 minutes of this movie feels like a a christmas hallmark movie it has all the tropes of that it has the incredible bad dialogue the, the family reacting to each other they've inherited a house in norway they are fish out of water which i think is a tick in the right direction because the way they react or interact with the locals is different to how they would react with the locals in their own hometown because they can't speak the language and that for me works well it makes you kind of like the family a little bit trying to help them understand the culture or maybe dislike the family because they haven't really researched or tried to learn anything of the language there's also this they don't know the language and the kids that are with the family are finding it difficult wife and father a uh, young daughter and really young son and the daughter is finding it really difficult to have moved away at her age i think she's something like 16 move away at, at from a, from all of her friends everything that she knows i know how difficult that is when i was 16 i was moved from south africa to the uk and left everything i knew behind and uh yeah i didn't know what to do with myself I rebelled a little bit because yeah it was a, a shock and i wasn't enjoying my life at that time so i resonated with that moment and i thought yeah that's quite real what she's feeling there feels real to me i can understand how she would be really upset and then we have the young son who has a similar thing but he's more into like adventure he's exploring the world so he's the one that comes into contact with what's in the barn if you've seen the trailer you'll know it's all to do with elves not quite like you've seen them before which i liked so that introduction is quite heavy-handed in the hallmark christmas variety but once we get into the barn stuff once they settle in they upset the elves in the barn and the repercussions of that what occurs then it kind of goes into christmas horror vibe and that's when it works well the fact that you go from a pg christmas movie to a what is probably in america i imagine r rated or maybe like r13 but here in the uk is a 15 for definite the kills in this are fun the, the gore in this is a lot of fun and the way that happens is a lot of fun and then you sprinkle in the law with why this is happening that makes it a lot of fun there's a little bit of a redemption story for one of the characters which I like and there's a little bit of a redemption story for the father who seems like a guy that doesn't ever actually get into action there's stuff like that that happens that makes you want to keep watching and then you get down to like the physical prosthetics and the gore that they use all coming across looking very real and they try and do a lot of stuff in camera and when you get that the mixture the mixture of that makes it ending up on a much higher note than it started with so if you're going to switch off if you're watching this on vod because i know it's coming out in vod very soon uh, i would say don't skip it if you've bought a ticket and you, you you're thinking about leaving the cinema because it hasn't started the way you want give it a chance you spent the money on vod at the cinema once you start getting into those kills or the lore of the fantasy story that there is it works well and finishes on a fun high i like the way it wrapped it up it's not something that i'm eager to revisit but it is good for a one-time watch and at the end of the day i liked what they did with a very similar premise we've had to some other films of late i like the way they took this lore and gave it a little twist a little gore and was not expecting it to be too serious they didn't go serious with it they went kind of not quite tongue-in-cheek but they had fun with those kills the prosthetics the lore all of that mishmashing together a little bit of a christmas magic introduction to horror maybe for your young ones not very young ones but like you know the teens i think this would be a good step in that direction i like what they did with this i'm going to give it clis cages out of five <laughs> you got one congratulations definitely worth that one time watch some others will love this some others will hate this i was on the fence at the beginning but once i jumped into that horror vibe i was like "Woo! let's see what else they can do with these elves and that for me was the best part of the movie thanks so much for watching but most of all until next time remember Live long on Tuesday.